It. I'm telling you, man, elbow, elbow strength, elbow grease, arm strength, whatever you want to call it. <laughs> You're going to need some of that. Yeah, I think we're straight. So that means next is the painting. Actually, it's not. <laughs> you got to mask everything off. Mm. Mm. Really, we're going to keep everything exposed because we want a nice, even blend. So like how we can clearly see the difference between these two. We don't want to just paint only in this area or it's going to be a nice new color paint. So we're going to evenly go around this area. Let's make sure everything nice and blends. And we're going to see how it comes out. Cool. Go a little outside of everything just for some of the fact that it's like this car has a lot of scuffs and scratches and damage. It's overall it's in good shape, but like previous owner ran into some curves he told me about the story it's kind of funny so you want to have a decent distance it's gonna be it's about eight inches away from the car you can eye level it but you want to be nice and light and you're going to go and even brushes across the car so let's begin Let's get that to blend in a little bit. Okay. So, always go light first. Because really, you just set in like a little nice base before you go ahead and put the next part on. And see, the light base acts basically as like a... It's like another primer. It would brings the next paint to stick better. So, this is where we are. Alright, cool. So, now we're going to go with our second coat. This is going to be a little heavier. So, I want to keep a decent, consistent distance, <laughs> and I want to keep, you know, it even. So again, a little heavier. So we'll let that one sit. Now we're on coat number three, and again, following the same idea, going heavier. If you got an opportunity to do it inside, please do, because going against the wind right now is really, is really messing the spray up. Coat number four, and really we're just trying to really just blend everything. And I think we're gonna rock it like that. Now we let the paint dry. Now we can finally do the clear coat, which usually only takes about two steps. So I used to dupla color. No, I'm not sponsored by them, but if they ever see this, you should go ahead. <laughs> so same with the regular paint. We're gonna we're gonna go real light. As an initial, we're gonna get all the areas that we sprayed. So we want to also blend well, and we're going to pause there. So this one's going to be a little heavier, and watch the strides. Hmm. 
little longer, a little heavier. Just to get a nice, complete coat. And remember, we're hitting every area that we painted. So we definitely have got some of this area up here. All right, and that's where we are. So that's like your, your starter idea of how to fill in basically blemishes. So we used the filler, we sanded it down, we went ahead and you, what wet sanded it, then we removed the tape, and yeah, started using the primer, and I swear, yeah. Ignore the shirt. But that is basically how you cover I'm gonna say damages. <laughs> so if you guys got any comments, ideas, plans, if you think I could do something differently, go ahead and let me know and give me your intake. Or if you haven't done it yourself, then drop a link in the description so I can see it myself and see how you guys did it. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more projects.